between five and seven every day. Oh, Some see. point in between that. My, what time does he go to bed? When I do it, he goes to bed at like seven. When Jordan does it, between eight and nine. See, Mackenzie and Dulcie go to bed between half seven and eight. He'll usually wake up about half seven or eight the next day, and sometimes she's about the same, or she'll sleep a bit longer. Sometimes I have to wake, like, wake him up to get ready for school, but... Yeah, sometimes yeah. I have to. I feel like it varies. Like, I don't even know yeah. what happens differently, but, yeah. like, some day... Like, it just depends day. what happens in their day, doesn't it? Yeah. He's really been really busy or whatever. Like, the other morning he woke up at five, then today he woke up at seven, then the other morning, half seven, and I had to wake him up because he had nursery. Like, yeah, everything's just varies. always different. Never the same. You if do you don't have time. a child that's like mine, you can probably put them in their room with a stair gate and let them watch telly or play with toys, whereas Marley's stair gate has gone because you could climb over it. <laughs> I've got no hope. Like, I genuinely don't know what I've created. Like, <laughs> me and Jordan's egg and sperm have just got some magic powers or something because I've got a gorilla baby. Like, <laughs> I even put this stair gate as high as it could go and he could put his toes in it and just climb on. Oh my god, that's so funny. Mackenzie knows how to open stair gates. He like fully can open any stair gate that he's really ah, clever. Yeah. He'll watch you and then he'll do it.